Hey everyone, I'm in the process of applying some decals in my studio and I thought I would uh, show you a few tips while I'm at it. Um, I'm going to move on to this one next. I have my cake spatula from my kitchen. No fancy tools necessary. Um, it's a little more rigid, not one of the really floppy ones, but a little more rigid so you can uh, burnish. Um, and burnish is just a fancy word for firm weight um, rubbing on the decals to apply them to the wall. First your decal comes in three sections. You have the backing paper and then you have a tacky um, like masking tape. It's called a transfer tape. And then the decal is in the center. This is The tackiness of this is slightly less than the tackiness of the decal, which is why at the end we're going to pull that off and the decal will stay. So after you've got it level, and I always level it up to the decal image, not the actual paper, because it's not guaranteed to be cut straight. Always level to the actual decal image. You just flip it up with your hinge made with your painter's tape, and then you just slowly peel back the backing, and it's just like a wax paper, so it really shouldn't stick. If you have an issue, like if the corner started coming up, go back, rub it down, and then pull it back, and it should come right off. As you can see, more often than not, that's exactly what you're going to get. It's just going to peel off really smooth. I like to pull it from the corners, kind of taut, and stick it down just a little bit, and then go from the center out, and just smooth it gently with your hand. Kind of helps get the decals flat, so when we take our spatula and we rub harder against the decal area, making sure you get all the little sections rubbed down. Nice and firm. And you can kind of see where you've burnished because the color of the wall starts coming through the tape a little bit more. And my spatula likes to shed. So I'm just going to do this whole sheet. If this sheet was longer than I could reach from side to side, I would, before I um, took the backing off, I would hold it up and I would snip up between there. You can also do that between words on long text pieces, and you could apply them one at a time, but keeping the same hinge all the way down so when you're done, they're all still level. Now that I have my decal burnished, I'm going to remove my tape. You don't want to remove this with the transfer tape. I just find it's a little easier to remove the hinge first, and then we'll get to the transfer tape. The transfer tape is just like masking tape. I always like to start in a corner and work at an angle. And see how I'm rubbing my hands right back against the wall. You don't want to pull because the bond between the decal and the wall is fresh. And you don't want to pull that apart. The decal will cure in about 72 hours, the adhesive on the back. So I just keep pulling slowly. And I roll this up, I can get a better grip. Staying snug to the wall. Keeping an angle. And being aware when a new corner comes up. So just in case it would pull off, you can go back, rub it down again, just like that. Not rub and just keep pulling until you get all of the masking tape removed. And all you leave behind is your decal design. That's it for the decal application. I'm going to finish up the rest of the grouping and um, I'm going to hang some mixed media art pieces in my frames and I'll be back.
I decided that I don't want this inner part of the frame, like the mat of the frame. So I thought I would show you just how easy it is to remove a decal when you are ready. I remove them just like I do the transfer tape. I pull it back, keeping it close to the wall. Again, not stressing the bond of the paint to the drywall. And the decals just peel right off when you're ready to throw your design.